Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so I'm recording this video, I'll tell you, it is July 30th. When you will see this video on YouTube, I couldn't tell ya. Um, it could be in a week, it could be sometime in August when I'm in Greece and you know, I decide to upload it and you know, have it for you guys to see while I'm away, I don't know. So. Um, I will tell you two things before I get started to what is going on over here. Um, of course, I'm just going to always remind you guys about my upcoming workshops. Why? Because I have new viewers, new subscribers all the time. Not everybody, even if you're a current subscriber, not everybody watches every single one of my videos. I wish you would. Um, because it would help me <laughs> if you watched my videos. Um, but um, I just want to remind everybody that I am going to be in Montreal, Quebec, in Montreal, uh, September 14th, uh, teaching a one-day workshop. If you are interested in coming to Montreal to uh, paint with me, there's going to be two classes, a morning class and an afternoon class. Uh, three-hour classes, all materials provided for you. If you want information on that, email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. And then I'm doing uh, classes here in my home studio. You get to come here and paint with me October 19th and 20th. If you are interested in details for the home studio here in London, Ontario, email me. Okay, so um, like I said, I'm recording this. July uh, 30th and I'm trying to get myself ready for Greece. I'm leaving in less than two weeks with my family, well with my kids and with Anthony. Uh, super excited. The kids are stoked. Anthony's never been to Europe. We're, we're super duper excited. Okay, so what do I have here? Oh, I didn't even put it up on cups. Silly me. I guess I should have done that. So um, this is a 14 by 14 inch wood panel. Now I've already started it and you're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing, Canela? Um, and for those of you who are longtime watchers of mine, you probably already know what this stencil is, okay? And maybe you don't, but I'm gonna explain it to you. And I will sh tell you about some videos that I did in the past that you can go and reference. So. This is a, like I said, a 14 by 14 inch panel. And this is a stencil that I put on here with resin. It is a stencil from Pour Away Fluid Arts. I will put their information in the description below the video. And there is a 10% discount that you can get using code Canela 10 okay? Now, I've already done like the first couple of steps on this but don't you worry if you are a new watcher or you don't know what this is there are five that's right five other videos that you can watch on my youtube channel that you know give you a full tutorial from the very start to the very end i thought i would skip that part in this video because it is very time consuming and you know what i'm not gonna lie sometimes getting the camera set up to record something that I've already done in the past. Um, you know, it's just, I just want to sometimes just sit, listen to my music, my radio and do my thing. Okay. So if you want the full tutorial from the very beginning, you can watch the following videos. Video 558, 558. That was the very, very first one I ever did with the paint splatters. Okay. So video 558. Write this down now. Video 574, that is another one. Video 579, video 604, and video 621. I'm gonna remember, or try to remember, to put links to all those videos either in the description below or I'll pin it to the top of my comments so that you can just easily click on them there. But you will get a full tutorial on how I did this. Um, so I painted um, the board white. I did like three or four coats of white. You can use gesso or white just so that the board doesn't warp or you know it doesn't breathe when you put the resin on it. The stencils come in like a um, copper color. 
Uh, they are just made with a 3D printer, so they're plasticky. And I just spray paint it silver because I like silver. And then I did my coat of white resin. Okay, so I made up some resin, did some resin, my crystal resin, added some white pigment paste, okay, resin paste into it, turned it white, and then put it on the board, okay? And then when it, a couple of hours later, when the resin starts to get tacky, or you can do it right away, I slap the stencil on, okay, when the resin is still wet, okay? I put the stencil on and then let it be, let it cure, let it dry. Now, the funny thing is, um, I did this, this part about three, four months ago, and then I put it under my table under here and forgot all about it until I was cleaning the other day and I said, oh my gosh, I have not done my cardinals. So I pulled it out and I said, you know what? Time to do the cardinals. So that is how I did that part. But again, check out the other videos if you want the step-by-step -step process, okay? Um, I kind of need to make sure this is level um, and prop it up on my cups, which I haven't done. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I've propped it up, it is level. So now I, I can do what I wanna do. So let me start off by telling you, I'm gonna be using my favorite brand, Crystal Resin. So you've got part one and part two, resin and hardener, equal parts, one and one, okay? And now my hands are sticky, gosh darn it. <sighs> so equal parts of Crystal Resin, all right? Now, as I said, this has been sitting under my table for a long time and there's some scratches and blemishes but I don't care because I'm about to pour over it with my colored resin all right now I am going to be using my TLP piggies okay and you can get these TLP pigments from the fluid art co website link to the website in the description below my video Okay, now I've brought out a bunch of colors and I don't know exactly from the blues which one I'm going to use and what I'm going to do. Um, but for the Cardinals, I'm using Maraschino and Grenache. Okay, and then for these pretty little flowers, my little cherry blossoms, I'm using Fairy Floss and Sequins, which is an interference piggy. Looks white, but it's got a little bit of a pinky, purpley hint to it. So that is going to be my flowers. My tree branch is going to be cappuccino. Okay. And then the cardinal's beak and eyes are going to be um, galaxy, which is a black. And then for my sky, the outside border is going to remain white because that's how I like it. And then for the sky, I'm going to kind of do a couple of different colors. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out, but what I've pulled out here is sapphire, taffy, blue eyes, and frost. Now I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use both. I'm just gonna see, I just noticed I have white paint on my wrist. Um, I'm gonna just see which colors I like better and then I'll figure it out. And then around this border here, uh, I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to do sapphire and then one of these lighter blues and alternate around. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. So again, information in those other videos, I'm pretty much going to stop talking and I'm just going to start doing what I'm going to do. Um, and I'll put some music on and speed some of this process up and come back to you guys when this is all done and finished and I'll show you guys the final results. So I'm going to say farewell for now, throw on some music, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me do this. And I'll be back when it's done.
Alrighty, so I'm back. And um, so as you were watching, uh, I struggled really hard with this one. Um, I was working away and it is very time consuming trying to get little, little bits of resin in the little teeny tiny crevices. So as I was waiting for that, the resin was curing too quick and it was getting, you know, tacky and, and, you know, thick. So I had to do resin a couple of times actually, um, because the resin was just getting too thick and too sticky. Uh, and then I made the mistake of putting way too much of the light blue of the sky on that part in the top. And it kept, um, oozing into the navy blue border I was doing. So that was really frustrating for me. Every time I cleaned it up, more would fall into it. I just way overdid it. I put way too much of the sky blue, you know, and it just, you know, there's a few flaws. So anywho, it is what it is. Uh, you saw there, I did a final top coat of clear resin um, to cover it all up and seal it all in. And now, as you can see, I am going to peel off the tape. So I'm using my heat gun. I am heating up the sides so that the tape comes off nice and smooth. And there's no drips or anything left on the side part of the board, which I love. It's nice. It's crisp. It's clean. I love it. Um, so yeah, just got to make sure you heat up the resin and just the sides like that and always pull downwards. Don't pull upwards towards the piece. You could potentially end up peeling um, some of the resin off the top part of your piece. So always peel downwards and inwards towards the bottom of the piece, never pull upwards. Um, so yeah, just using the heat gun here. But again, this was one super duper time consuming piece, but I'm glad it's done. And there you have it, my friends, the final results. I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And don't forget, check the description below for all your information. Again, the stencil is from Pour Away Fluid Arts. You can save 10% off using code CANELA10. Um, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.